Let them go so they can start on loading and, and they're going to eat lunch, I guess, and we're going to eat lunch. And uh, we're going to do some more video with the uh, Big X moving the logs up here. Hey. And I call it stationary. <laughs> that way, if it rains, whatever, it's more about you, Carrie? this way. And I can go ahead and load them no matter what. Carrie the Hubbard. And I got anyway, it coming through to Milwaukee. Uh, we will say goodbye to Liam and we get on with the, with the... Carrie, my God. An hour and a half video. Lots of cakes. My Lord. He was just talking about lunch. What do you say about I lunch? haven't got an hour and a half break all week. <laughs> no. He said something about lunch. What about yeah, lunch? Yeah, I know you picked up on that. That's the worst of the broadcasting on that thing. <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to catch up on some of my favorite YouTube channels. Yeah. And Carrie Hubbard and his family channel is, is definitely up there. Oh, yeah. Carrie, and then there's Steve Robb, and there's, there's ever so many. There's ever so many, yeah. But I just can't sure. keep up with it, because this is kind of a busy time right now, too, again, right? But anyway, folks, if you ever get a chance to, uh, you want to look around, if you need your Kubota BX fix, you can't get it from us all the time because we don't have the BX. <laughs> BX pretty well put away now. Well, that's true. Yeah, that's a good point. So Carrie is yeah. the is the uh, the one I would recommend yeah. for your BX fix. Yeah. Like if you get up in the morning, you say I gotta see a BX. Carrie and his family channel is the uh, Carrie Hubbard and his fam uh, family right. channel. You can pick up the slack. Yeah, and then if you're looking for other videos to. Uh, if you're looking for other channels and you don't want to go through all the trouble of figuring out what channels are good, well then you go to Steve Robb, Steve Robb's channel. Yeah. Now if you need a snow clearing fix and you don't want to look at tractors, well then you got to look at the plow guys. True. Right? Yeah. So I mean, and that's, that's another one of our... Wow, what a lot of variety. Yeah, well I mean, you know, what else matters in life? I know. I mean, I just named the three most important things in life. Mm -hmm. I mean, True. tractors and trucks. True. What's the third one? Well, iPads. <laughs> <laughs> Food. Yeah, so folks, I'll put the links to these channels there. If you get a chance, drop over and tell them Paul and Kathy sent you. I'm sure they'd appreciate hearing from you. Well, I had to get that on camera. You're cleaning. I'm not cleaning. You are cleaning. Just this area, that's all I'm cleaning. Ugh. Like, don't go getting too excited about this. It's going to be, it's, this is going to be as rare as an eclipse of the sun. <laughs> that's pretty rare. This here is a sticker that my buddy Jake in Florida sent me. Oh, okay. And he that's said, right. I'd like to see that. He said on your, your uh, wall of fame. So, I think that's where it's going to go. Yeah, that's a good spot for it. Well, hopefully I can get the stick. I've been all week trying to get at it. But it's been crazy, crazy, crazy. Never, never, never. Yeah. Look at crazy. Oh. Yeah, you got right excited. Now you thought I was going clean. I saw you with the ladder up and the cloth wiping down. Well, I'll tell wow. you how bad I am at cleaning. I had to actually watch a couple of YouTube videos to see I was done. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I believe it. I'm telling you. And not only that, now that I got it done, I forgot how I done it. Yeah, it's so not convenient. That's not going to work out very good. Well, <laughs> not for you anyway. That's pretty convenient how yeah. that happened. Yeah, wicked, eh? What does it say? Motsu, Motsu, Motsu? Kamatsu. Kamatsu. I was on the right track. Yeah, you were close. You got the Sue right. <laughs> yeah, I got the Sue right. <laughs> anyway, Jake, thank you very much, buddy. That's a nice sticker. So is this tractor? That's a travel I had. They make good quality stuff. Big stuff. Good oh, stuff. yeah, big time. Mm. That's why I put it by the Caterpillar. Oh, yeah? Like it's... You know, mm. it's pretty close to the top when you like. Uh, well, that's right. I mean, you know, the farther up the door you go, the better it gets. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, so it's it's, it's to on the top. top. Oh yeah. It's on the top. You know, it is what it is. But anyway, what are we going to talk about? Are we talking about something here? 
I got some mess here. I clean up here. There's leaves everywhere. <laughs> we had right a big old windstorm yesterday. Yeah, did we ever? And a rainstorm. And there was more leaves off that tree in here than what was out there. I don't know. We had to clean them out several times. That's the repel, still. Better go get that. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. So that was Max. Napa. Napa. That's our that's our Napa guy. That's our Napa guy. That's that's Max at Napa, folks. Anybody locally needs something done and wants it done properly and efficiently, you gotta call Max at Napa. Exactly. He's the one. Now Max, don't forget to send the check. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> to Paul and Kathy. Yeah, that well what? Uh -huh, yeah. I'm losing again. You're not losing. No, because you're gonna take well you're gonna take your check and then you're gonna cash mine. Well, put yours away. Well, Mom, once I take my share, you'll get your, what is it, 10% My 10% if I'm lucky. <laughs> yeah, and out here we got a, a beautiful looking thing we got to fix. What's we right. got out there? Where are you going? Well, we have a blow snower. Oh, yeah. Bit of an old one, but he's an elderly customer of ours. And he's having a few issues. Come over, we'll Snowblower? show the folks what's going on here. He keeps losing the belt of it. Oh, yeah? What's going on is there's a crack in the body. Right? Oh. And that keeps separating and it keeps driving the belt off. Yeah. So I, like I gotta that. take that apart and I got to uh, reinforce it. that and I'm gonna have to uh, weld it. Hmm. And the trailer, that's we're not doing nothing with the trailer. That's just, just to get that here. And in here, well down there we almost have our Volvo. Our XC. It's getting close to being done. XC70. XC70. XC almost got that done. Jeez, they got all kinds of weird things. I know, it's hard to keep track of them all. That other one's got to come in. The XC got this Kia here. Well, that was only into a little bit of brake work. We have a Honda generator over there, 5,000 watt, that needs a little bit of work as well. Oh, yeah. And we have a mess, but I, I, I can't really get at anything right now because we're well, just a bit you, busy. You forgot how to clean, too. Well, it's been busy. It has been busy. Holy smokes, yesterday here, I didn't think we were ever going to get out of it. Well, uh, Tuesday you asked what day it was. <laughs> I guess Tuesday, yeah. <laughs> I was pretty well spun out by Tuesday. Yeah, you were done. Yeah. I uh, wanted to show people this thing. This here is propane, and this here is MAP Pro Premium Torch Fuel. Mm. And, uh, see? I was I was hoping to put big cylinders on go like this and go right up, but it, it's oh, not yeah. powerful enough. But anyway, no. Uh, well, an Iron Man stone. Yeah, this is this is much much hotter than that. So uh, we had to do some soldering in that a little while ago in the house. So I picked this torch up and boy, it's it's so much faster when you have to solder anything or heat anything up like out around the door to use this than it is to use regular propane. So uh, yeah, Map Pro folks, check it out. The uh, the snozzle, the torch part, I got at uh, Prince's Olive, oh, okay. right? I think 50 bucks or something. And that little thing, it looks fancy, but all it is is a, it's just a lock. Yeah. So that's what's new there. Um, I'll put this over here. Oh yes, so Dave in Ottawa, he watches our videos and Dave asked me to uh, asked me for a bit of information on what wire to use to hook the auxiliary uh, fuse panel up on his BX like we did in one of our videos. And that kind of spiked a little thing in my head. It, it, it got a relay clicking. And speaking of relays, this is what clicked. This here is your normal relay. This one here is a 20 to 30 amp. Now, for folks who don't really know what a relay is, a relay basically looks after power management. It, it takes the load. So if you never had a relay, for instance, and you had a 30 amp, you had a light that was drawing 30 amps, and you just had it hooked up to a switch and to a battery, well, that switch would take the full brunt of the 30 amps. In other words, the, the switch would take all the heat. Well, when you do it properly and you wire in a relay, well, what you end up doing is the switch only turns on the relay, and the relay looks after the heat. It looks after the load. It, it supplies the power to the item or to the light, say, for instance. But with these type of relays, you have to put an inline fuse in place. 
So what you usually do is you usually cut the wire and you usually put an inline fuse. I don't know if I have. Do I have? It's probably in my other case, but I do have inline fuses. I'm still not quite getting used to this where everything is too. Yeah. So what you would do is you you cut the, the number 30 line here and you can always always tell which one is 30. Uh, 30 on this one is this one. You cut that line and put it there. Now, there's a better system now. And the better system is these little babies. Hmm. Now, isn't that pretty? Very. What do you see different? I'm seeing the fuse on one. Exactly. So, good observation. Ooh. Can I get proud, a star? Kind of proud of you. I guess stick up. <laughs> stick up. Stick up. Yeah, so what this does now, this eliminates the need to put an inline fuse into your harness. Oh. So you have to watch it because number 30, I'm going half blind here. Yeah, number 30 is still the red. Okay, so sometimes it can change around the color depending on the pigtail. Yeah, so now you can just run this directly to your battery and the fuse is going to look after it. So it's really tidy. I kind of like it. Sounds good to I kind of like it. Okay. So anybody that's doing... Uh, doing wiring and you want to remain tidy and keep it as neat and tidy as you can. This happens to be a uh, 30 amp and I picked these up on Flea Bay. Mm -hmm. Yes, they're Chinese, but they work. I've used them. So I don't care where they come from, so long as they work. Well, with this stuff it's okay. Like tools and stuff, I still like to have North American, but face it folks. There's not much made in North America anymore. No. Anyway, so that's that. What else is new? What's coming down the what's coming down the tube? Well, I'll tell you what's coming down the tube. I had mentioned a while back somebody was asking me about YouTube videos and snow clearing videos. And I said, well, geez, this is an eye. I never said that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You just said I mentioned what I said. So anyway, I said, well, I don't think I'm gonna be doing any more snow clearing videos because we've pretty well covered them all. And I said, about the only way that I would do another snow clearing video is if we had a new piece of equipment. Well, yeah, we ended up getting a new piece of equipment, but it's not what you think. It's a new drone, folks. Uh, DJI Industries have a, uh, have a new drone out called the Mavic Pro. And it's got some features on it. It's a little thing that folds up. It's about as big as, a little bit bigger than, say, an iPhone 6 or an iPhone 7. And it folds up. You guys just Google it and you'll see uh, Mavic Pro. And it's a cute little thing, but it's, it's chock right full of new technology. And some of it, it's got this follow me feature and stuff. So basically, what I'm going to be doing and when we get this thing, it's kind of a delay under shipping now. But when we do get it, we're going to be doing some experimental videos with the tractors, with the Mavic. So I'm just basically going to set this thing up to follow the tractor. And I'm going to get in the tractor, and this thing is going to have to look after itself. You're not even going to fly it. Wow. So I'm liking this so far. Yeah, right? Yeah. So, but the next thing, you're going to have that in doing housework and everything because it can <laughs> fly indoors. You'll have that dragging a broom across the floor oh, and everything. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Because all you have to, mod coming. Well, all you have to do is just uh, get it up on the screen, what you want to take, what you want to uh, follow, and you highlight it and you tap on the screen and it, it watches it and it keeps it in focus and keeps it in the picture all the time. So. That should be an interesting thing coming up. So yes, you will start to see some uh, some videos of the tractor snow clearing and, and just me fooling around experimenting with the Maverick. Now, if it's something that you're not interested in seeing, well, I won't do it. That's not a problem. But regardless, we're going to get this Mavic Pro anyway. So there it is in the Camping Note Tizzard. Yeah, there it is. What else? We've had some, well, we've had so many questions. Oh, my Lord. We even had a fella ask us the other day about, uh, what does he call it, a snowblower? Yeah, and he's hooking up lights. Hooking up lights, yeah. There's no good to call the shop and ask me how to hook up lights to a Honda snowblower, because I mean, I don't know what you're using for lights. I don't know. That's not what this channel is about. Yeah. We're, we're basically just showing you what we do. I'm very skeptical about showing exactly how I do wiring, because I'm afraid that somebody could take it 
and not do it properly. And the next thing they let the smoke out and their vehicle burns down. If their vehicle's in their garage, the garage burns down. If the garage is attached to the house, the house burns down. If the house is close to the neighbor's house, the neighbor's house burns down and so on and so forth. Next thing, the whole island is gone. That's right. Right? Reaction. All because somebody didn't wire up a relay properly. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I, I'd That's rather an extreme situation. Yeah, I'd rather not get into that, you know. Oh, and our, our uh, friend Matt and uh, Diane, who was here, that picked up our bought our pole. Yep. They're back in uh, in New Hampshire, and they have it planted, and it looks beautiful oh, on their property. Does it ever? It looks really yeah. nice on the property. Really nice job. Yeah, so you know that's that's been a few little things. I know I'm going to think of a thousand things that I should have said. Words, yeah. You know, because there were so many questions that came in. I don't I don't even remember what happened there now. But anyway, maybe what I'll do is I'll pause it and see if I can go back and look at some of the questions, and then I'll come back and try to answer them. Look, you're cleaning again. I don't, I don't know if me, you know it, but you're cleaning. I don't want my arse getting dirty. <laughs> Yes, we have two stools. Oh. Why do we have two stools? That's the first question I'll answer. Oh, yeah. We have two stools because we have two doctors that come here. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm just waiting for the day one of them asked me for a stool sample. Well, if you're not getting mine, they can have that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my huh? God. Oh, yeah. Really? Anyway, here's another common question that we get asked a lot. Tractor lights. Paul. What tractor lights did you, what lights did you use on your tractor? What wattage are they in? What, what wattage and where, where did you buy them? them? How much did you pay for them? Oh my gosh. Well, that particular, the first that time that started, I started buying tractor lights was back in 2008. I guess once you did it, you didn't need to remember it. I can tell you something right now. Tractor lights, are, our lights have changed dramatically since 2008. That's a good point, yeah. And, and, and so have suppliers. Yeah. I mean, you can't even keep up with the amount of suppliers that are out there. You know, like, you can almost get an LED light now as a prize in your Cracker Jacks. Yeah. There's that many people that got them. True. Right? So, right. I don't really retain that, that kind of information. Like, uh, I know the, the big revolving light on the tractor, I remember where I bought that because I'm after buying some stuff from them and they're, they're a really reputable company in the U.S. and that, they're called Strobes and More. Mm -hmm. They're a really good company. We've had a lot of great success dealing with those people so I don't know if they sell the individual LED lights but like for emergency lighting and uh, and quality lighting like Welland and, and people yeah. like that great company um, do we sell the mods that we build well yes and no we have sold some to different manufacturers that are yet to be announced uh, but locally we if somebody comes in and says well you know, I'd like to have this made like you got on your one of your tractors. If the tractor is here, yes, I'll do it. And providing they want to pay the cost. But you got to remember, like, when I build something here, it's a one-off. So, technically, it takes me just as long to build the second one as it did the prototype. So, if somebody wants it real bad, yes, I'll build it. I don't, uh, like, somebody asked me a while back if I would do a seat pan for a 5740 so it would accept the uh, grammar air ride seat and uh, and I would if it was in Canada but we had a situation where I helped a, a friend of ours out who we met online and, and he had a 5740 and he had a real bad back problem and uh, he said you know I really need this seat but I don't have you know any way of getting the seat pan done so I said well send it to us and I said I'll look after it for you but I said you'll have to pay for the shipping and stuff and uh, of course we did the seat pan and we sent it back to him and about three weeks later we get a bill from Customs Canada mm -hmm. for eighty dollars or something because we sent the tractor part across the border and we didn't know so the customer was good enough to look after the that extra payment which we didn't even know existed until we no. received the thing in the mail so you never know you might think you're clear but yeah so really not. like we free trade I don't know who the free, NAFTA agreement the, North America Free Trade Agreement. I really don't know who benefits from that, but I can tell you one thing. We have never benefited from no. it. You never know what's going to happen. And UPS, they're like, they're like the mob, I think. Like, you never know what, the, what they're going to charge you. We even had a count with them one time and had to cancel it because yeah. they kept dipping from it, right? Yeah. It was brutal, so we don't even deal with them anymore. What else? Uh, Kubota. Would you buy another Kubota? 
yes, I'd buy another Kubota, but I'd also shop around. Like if you have two or three or four or five different uh, dealerships in your area, and uh, and you're interested in, we'll just say a John Deere, a, a Coyote, or a Mahindra, or a, a Kubota, I would say go around and look at the equivalency of what you're looking for in all of these dealerships. Go in and talk to each dealership, find out how they are, get them to show your, uh, show them your facilities, show them their facilities, where they do their, their repairs, and you'll get a good scope on, on what you're dealing with by doing that. You know, if, if, if they say they don't have the time, well, you don't want to buy from them. You know, if you go out and you look in your service department and it's a mess and it's not fit to walk through, maybe you don't want to buy from them. But if you go into it, it's a nice, well-kept dealership and the uh, people are friendly and the uh, equipment is well cared for that's out on their lot and they don't mind taking out and spending a bit of time and they show you around their service uh, facility. Yeah, I, I would think no matter who manufactures the tractor and the warranty is good, why not buy from them? So I'm not going to say yes definitely just buy Kubota I'm gonna say look around be smart like you would with a vehicle so that should take care of that, that that's three questions that I answered right off the, right off the bat oh, good. And, and including why two stools yeah that was a bonus question that's a bonus question you you cut that one off before you got the question well exactly right because right. you know somebody's gonna say why do you need two stools you're gonna head that one off that's it yeah. So folks I gotta go to work I got a generator there to do I got a little bit of fabrication to do for somebody I got a, that poor old snowblower over there, that looks like it's been that looks like it's been through, run through the mill, but it's a 13 year old machine and Buddy uses it quite a lot, yeah, so. It deserves a little attention. It's sure. what he likes, so we gotta fix it for him. Yeah. So uh, we'll see you in the next video. Hopefully one of those days, if that Mavic Pro ever shows up, we'll do an unboxing here. And uh, I guess that's it, isn't it? Yeah, that would be a wrap for me. Yeah. So folks, you guys take care. Don't go texting and driving. Don't go taking uh, taking up handicap zones, parking spaces. I mean, people need them for that reason. And uh, be kind to each other. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. God bless.